Okay, so uh, this video is just going to review what we did in class on Friday, but I wanted to make it kind of fun using an analogy, a Pac-Man analogy. So we're going to talk about Pac-Man radicals. All right, and so let's just talk about what we learned earlier. All right, so we learned about radical mechanisms, and we said that uh, a radical mechanism had three steps, right, initiation which is where you form your initiator or your reactive radical species that goes into the second step, which is propagation. And in propagation, the initiator uh, reacts with, in our case, an alkyl chain uh, to make new radical species, right? And then those new radicals combine in termination to give you your radical product, or to give you your products, I'm sorry. So just remember, IPT initiation propagation and termination and we also talked about uh, this reaction with methane and chlorine all right so let's review in the initiation step right chlorine is uh, irradiated here right anytime you see H nu that means light and when that happens this bond breaks homolytically one electron here one electron here to give you two chlorine radicals here now keep in mind we're not one mole of chlorine uh, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of chlorine so that's tons of chlorine here in the, in the initiation step all right and so then in the propagation step we said that the radical that you made here in initiation comes and does abstraction if you remember that term from class right you're taking off h dot right and this is the mechanism for it one arrow here one arrow here and one arrow back to carbon right notice the arrows are single headed that's very important all right and so from the propagation step you get a new radical in this case uh, a methyl radical here right with uh, an, an unpaired electron here and then HCl as a byproduct all right and then in your termination step chlorine adds to the methyl radical and terminates to give you the product right which is what we were trying to make here all right so remember we talked about this being IPT right and I said to think about it like you're popping microwave popcorn so here you have popcorn and then the middle pops here are your propagation steps and then now the bag of popcorn is finishing up those are your termination steps all right so remember popcorn initiation is the first pop in the microwave propagation is what happens during those middle pops and then termination is uh, what happens when the last few kernels are being popped and you get ready to enjoy that bag of popcorn all right so what happens in propagation is what we call abstraction and we talked about this in class let's look at the mechanism so here right these arrows indicate that I'm homolytically, homolytically breaking the bond between carbon and hydrogen. That means that carbon is taking one electron, hydrogen is taking one electron. Remember we talked about it being like a California divorce. You know, I want half, right? I've been, we've only been married for three months. It doesn't matter. If you didn't sign a prenup, I get to take half your stuff, right? And so here, this bond is being homolytically broken and these two arrows pointing towards one another mean that H and Z are going to make a bond between themselves, right? So when you see these two arrows pointed towards one another, that means the electron that's coming from here and the electron that Z is donating are, are going to come together to make a bond between H and Z, right? So now here's H and Z bonding together and notice carbon has uh, an unpaired electron so now I've created a new radical through abstraction of a hydrogen from carbon all right all right so what happens when I have a longer chain well it's uh, quite obvious that the more CH bonds I have right the more sites I have that I can abstract from so let's look at this chain and let's look at let's change the color on some of these so we can see which ones are abstractable right notice the CH3 all three of these are equivalent right it does not matter which one comes off they're all equivalent right 
and there, and these are the pink hydrogens and then we have yellow hydrogens here both of these are equivalent and both of these red hydrogens are equivalent now why don't I have the whole chain color because this H here and this H on this end on this CH3 are the same right so I'm not going to do abstraction twice nor will I ever make two radicals in the same chain alright so this H here and this one are the same the yellow H's are the same as these H's here and then the red H's are the same as these H's here okay so if you remember let's talk about initiation and propagation if you remember in initiation I'm making a radical by, by bombarding this chlorine molecule with UV light then I'm, I do homolytic cleavage of that bond to make two chlorine radicals here these are my initiators what I'm making is a really a hungry radical because the initiator is what's going to go down the chain and do abstraction so that initiator is like Pac-Man right hungry ready to eat and ready to do abstraction so let's look at it right so here's my initiator it's going a little crazy I wonder what happened maybe this is a glitch in the program Oh, oh no, okay, so my initiator is like Pac-Man, he turns into Pac-Man, so watch what happens here, right, oh, he ate a hydrogen here, and now I have a carbon radical on this carbon, let's see if that happens, let's see that again, right, now he's going for the yellow hydrogen, and now I have a carbon radical here, where the initiator, through abstraction, pulls off one of the hydrogens that was here, alright, let's look at it again, now he's going for the red hydrogen and now I have a radical here after Pac-Man or my initiator has abstracted a hydrogen off of this carbon and left behind one electron alright so let's watch that again let's watch it again from the beginning alright well we didn't have to watch this part but I like it so we'll watch it again Alright, so this chlorine, I'm just going to do it, making an analogy that chlorine is actually Pac-Man. And so here, the chlorine is going to take off one of the pink hydrogens, right, and leave a radical behind. Here, it's going to take off one of the yellow hydrogens, leave a radical behind. And then here, it's going to take off a red hydrogen and leave a radical behind. So I hope that makes sense. So now, Pac-Man has done his part. Now it's your turn to do your part. I want you to take the termination products uh, and draw or take the propagation radicals and draw the termination products and show the mechanism alright this is a pop quiz you know how many points it's worth and let's just say for the sake of continuity that these radicals are going to terminate using chlorine alright and so I'll see you in class if you have any questions feel free to contact me you know all of my information by now and I uh, hope this video made some sense. All right, peace.